Excellent. I have the uh, glass of uh, Virgilius uh, Viognier from Yolamba here. Yolamba and Viognier uh, have got a really wonderful history together. Um, we pioneered, or Yolamba pioneered the variety back in the 1980s when it was virtually extinct, uh, other than the small amount of plantings down in uh, Condreau in the south of France. We brought some vines back into Australia and, and slowly built up our resource. And uh, I think now we can, we, 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 we're confident we're considered some of the, 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 the leaders of the variety in the new world. Um, I have the Vigilius here in the glass, which is at the very top of the, top of the tree of what we do when it comes to Viognier. 100% barrel fermented in, in older oak. Uh, and really this is, is our nod to Condreo. Uh, we're looking for a wonderful, aromatic, rich style of wine, but really lovely sort of um, savoury textures coming from the, from the oak. So you get those lovely aromatic apricot flavours, uh, some sort of candy ginger characters through there, but a really lovely underlying vein of acidity. And that comes from the cool climate up in the Eden Valley where this, uh, this wine's sourced from. Um, the little, uh, little sister to this one is the, the Eden Valley, Yolamba Eden Valley Viognier. Um, about 60% of that's barrel fermented, 40% is in stainless steel. Uh, much more uh, overtly aromatic style, you really get a really ripe apricot nectar, white flower perfume. Uh, and both are very, very aromatic um, in textural styles. Really great with those full flavour dishes that you're going to be eating or even anything cheese based um, like a souffle. But really lovely, rich, uh, textured styles that, that, that really have a lingering flavour. But um, uh, wonderful examples of, of what Australia can produce as far as uh, Viognier, if not some of the best in, in the new world. So uh, drink up and enjoy.